The latter rain revival of the late 1940s and 1950s created many unbelievable stage acts. While many people today would be skeptical of men claiming to have been visited by angels or demons, or having been commissioned by God as a messenger or a church age angel, many people of that era appear to have readily accepted them. When William Branham began touring with the 13 year old little David Walker, letting the boy preach while he claimed to have healed the sick, it excited the crowds all the more. William Branham quickly became the leader of the post-World War II healing revival and branded Walker as the Adam and began advertising their stage act as, quote, the most powerful gospel team in America. As far as stage acts go, the boy and healer act had everything. Branham began claiming to have been visited by an angel when he revised his backstory in 1946, and Walker levitated on the stage to thrill the crowds. Walker's main act, however, was a claim to have visited heaven. Latter rain converts sat on the edge of their seats as David Walker described what he saw in the afterlife. Many others tried to copy the act in various ways. Literally hundreds of men, women, and even other children joined the movement creating stage acts of their own. One of the most interesting is the ministry of Kenneth Hagen, the founder of Rima Bible Training College and champion of the Word of Faith movement. In the heat of the latter rain craze in America, Hagen began claiming a story very similar to Little David, but exactly the opposite. Hagen claimed that he had visited hell instead of heaven, and he went on tours through the four square churches in Amy Simple McPherson's cult of personality. According to Hagen, it was, quote, not a dream nor a vision, but an actual personal experience. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.